today is a first for us as cow owners because we have the hoof trimmer coming today to trim the cow's hooves. This has been maybe the hardest thing for me to find since we moved here is somebody to trim the cow's hooves. Farriers, people who do horses hooves are easy to find around here. But the cow hooves I've had a problem with. I've been calling the different farmers in the area trying to find hooves. their cow's hooves. Because dairy cows are generally getting more nutrition, their hooves are going to grow more. So depending on your cow, she may need her hooves done every six months. We yeah. haven't had her hooves done since we got hers, which has been a year and four months. So they are too long. It was getting to the point where I was ordering the tools to do them myself when we went to the county fair here and I saw on the wall of the, the cow barn, hoof trimming, cow hoof trimming. I took a picture, I said, okay, I got them. What her hooves should look like is this whole front should be shorter. So she should look like she's more standing on her toes. She doesn't look like that. She looks like she's standing on the back here. So this all has to get trimmed. And you can trim your own cow's hooves. I've never done it. I would like to have a clean slate to kind of start on to see what they should like to watch somebody do them. Now this guy who's coming this afternoon, he's got a table where the cow walks in, he straps them in, it tilts them to the side, and then he trims them like that. Uh, there are new, newer tables where they don't have to put the cow on the side, and he doesn't have one. So I got her halter on, I'll put her in this afternoon. When he comes, we'll kind of set up a chute for her to walk on, onto the, the trimming, into the trimming chute. And it should be interesting, because she's not going to like it. And that little one needs to have her feet done too. He may have to do her standing up though, we'll see. So we'll have the professional come and do their hooves today. Maybe in another six months, I'll have my tools all together and be ready to do it myself. Some people will design like a rough surface that the cows have to walk over daily to keep the hooves kind of trimmed themselves. We haven't quite got to that point yet. We're able to do the, cat, the goat's hooves ourselves. That's not really a big deal. Ladybug I just haven't worked up to. Luna, I've been training her, so she lets me pick up her feet. And Ladybug, when I thought I was going to have to do her feet myself, I was starting to kind of tap on them. Oops. I would use a chisel, chip away the front. If you have a calf, start getting it trained now to let you pick up its feet. That's a good thing to be able to do because cow hoof trimmers are hard to find. And that is something you can do yourself.
You all done, lady? Come on. All right. Boy, that was awesome. <laughs> If you need me to pull, I can pull it. Both cows. For both cows, so fast. And it's oh, that's great. It's today, yeah. So. It's fast. Yeah, what are you doing? It's nice when it's 90 out. Mm -hmm. It was just working in the factory, wasn't for me. No. And you know, this, you know, at least you're good. I, I grew up on the farm. Yeah. So it was it was hard to be inside all the time oh, cooped yeah. up like that. Go from being outside yeah. all the time. The farming is hard. Doing this, I go somewhere new every day yeah. and meet a lot of people. Yeah. Well, this worked great for us, Justin. Now tell your mom you're on YouTube and she was <laughs> really going to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> My kids won't believe me. Nah, -uh, you're not on YouTube. <laughs> How, uh, how often do you suggest doing it? Uh, most of the time, I say every six months, but her feet really weren't that bad. If it's oh, been okay. a year and they weren't that bad, I'd say, you know, it's been a year and give, give, it, a give it 10 months or so okay, and cool. see how they are. That's great. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was cool. awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Thank yeah, you. nice to meet you Thanks too. And we'll share your, your uh, we'll tell people to contact us if they want to get in touch. Yeah. Hopefully we get you some new business. Thank you. Justin did a fantastic job doing the hoof trimming for us. Uh, he was very fast and as you can see the end product is great. If you're in western Pennsylvania and you're looking for someone to trim your cow's hoofs, get in contact with us. Email aust at thisishomesteady.com and we can put you in contact with Justin. Any picture? No, it's just like a Feeding your animals minerals is another key to their nutrition, and in tomorrow's episode of Home Study, we set up a brand new mineral feeding system for our cows. Minerals are 
another important part of your cow's nutrition. But things don't go according to plan. Fun fact, some assembly required. So we're gonna assemble this whenever Austin figures out how. And maybe now I'll Google how to put this thing together before Austin gets back. Is it a success or do we crash and burn? Oh man, are you even kidding me? Find out in tomorrow's episode. Check back five o'clock Eastern time for that video along with all our videos every weekday. Reality, that's what the people want. Reality. <laughs> so sweaty. <laughs> so sweaty. Do you like our show? You can support us without spending a penny extra. Before you go to Amazon.com to shop, in your URL, type in www.amsteady.com. It will forward you on to Amazon. You can shop there. We get a little bonus for sending you there and it helps us do the show and it doesn't cost you a penny extra. You can also click on that handy link. It's a huge help. We thank you so much.